well, grand evening, grand rising to some who may still be waking up or just getting up, and even grand afternoon. This is Sandra Know Yourself. I'm just checking in with the family, see how everyone is doing. Um, I'm here in Tanzania, and uh, in this little, nice little village area. <laughs> very very nice um and i just thought i'd make a video um just to let you everybody know that you know um it's beautiful out here um uh, it's quiet it's peaceful you can hear the chicken and the roosters you know making like they singing and talking to each other making a conversation um it's just a beautiful just a beautiful area does this for and also I wanted to tell you guys I took my first African bath today <laughs> and if some of y'all don't know what that is it's basically that you know you get your water you warm your water up you know and you get your whatever type of body wash or soap or black soap or whatever you choose to lather up and you get in there in that little shower area and you wash yourself down and then you have this little kind of like a plastic scooper light and you take it after you wash yourself down and you just rinse yourself off really pleasant it was a warm and pleasant experience should i say um very different but um it just kind of put you it, it put you to me it put you in the mind of like the country light let me check Hold on one second. I think my camera is le leaning a little bit, so I'm trying to get it right. But anyway, it puts you in the mind of the country, you know. I was wrong. I grew up in the country, you know. We had different types of farm animals and chicken and goats. And, and as you can hear, you can hear the roosters and the chicken. And it's beautiful to wake up to the sound of country like that. Uh, like right now you hear the roosters you know crowing it's not morning <laughs> but it's beautiful to just to hear the sound of the roosters I don't know how to explain it <laughs> just put you so much in the mind of the country and they get to going and stuff and it to me it, it sounds like they having a conversation like they talking to each other communication you know and I'm isn't that beautiful do y'all hear that <laughs> and you can hear the birds chirping oh my goodness it's I don't know just so peaceful but um other than that you know um it's just a beautiful day here in Tanzania uh, Salon. um just a different experience and I told you guys I'm gonna Keep y'all updated on my journal, a journey, should I say. I'm writing a journal. <laughs> but uh, other than that, looking up at the skies, the skies is, you know, you can see the clouds. Um, some of it look a little dark, though. I think we got like a little rain um, this morning. It wasn't that much. But just to look around and see the clouds forming. And it just looks so natural. The clouds look so natural. Beautiful breeze. Oh man, I can't I can't even explain it. You know. Just you know, just being here, um, my experience have been so it's just been so amazing. Um so far I've been here in Tanzania for approximately about uh, two months almost not quite but um yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's different it's, it's great and then getting a chance to see different you know plants and you know how they garden and uh wow it's it's different and how they collect the eggs and everything from the from the chicken coop and everything it's 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 neat um they consider it uh natural eggs no gmo um i think i hear them say local 
So some people may say, you know, caged in or whatever, but yeah, they actually may not all be in cages, but they you may see chicken roaming here and there. I was talking to one of the local um, guys and they pretty much, I said, well, how do y'all tell, you know, one chicken from another if they just kind of go in from different area? He said, you can have uh, a thousand chicken and you know, with every one of them, you know your own chicken. And I'm like, wow. He said, just like the cows or goats or anything like that, you may have 50 to 100, you know, goats or cows, but every cow or every goat or whatever animal, you know that it's your animal and they know you. And I was like, wow, that's, that's neat, that's neat. And, you know, like I say, it's just been, I mean, look around and see all these coconut trees and pineapple trees and all kind of mango trees and, oh my goodness. And then sometimes you hear people talking about people starving uh, in Africa or whatever. No, no way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it may be people starving in, in different, you know, countries and stuff. But it's just so much, so many fruits and vegetables that's grown, you know, from from nature, you know, uh, no GMO. I can't see no way nobody could be starving. But, you know, I know they used to paint that picture to us, you know, um, years ago as we were growing up, you know, that um, the children in Africa were starving, the people in Africa were starving or whatever. But... Like I said, I'm not saying certain parts of different country that there's people that's lacking food or the nutrition or nourishment may not be up to date, but that's everywhere. That's everywhere. That's over that's over in I mean every country I'm pretty sure experienced that, you know? But like I said, when I look around, all I see is so many fruits and vegetables that's grown, you know naturally from the earth that <laughs> it's hard to believe you know anybody starving you know um when it's you know you got coconuts and avocados and pineapples falling down on your head <laughs> and you know by nature we're supposed to be vegetarian um uh, anyway we're supposed to eat from the earth anyway all fruits and vegetables so you know but anyway other than that you got bananas you got papaya oh my goodness I had papaya this morning and I tell you it was so with seeds with seeds everything has seeds so it was so sweet and that taste that it leaves in your mouth even afterwards eating it it's just like wow <laughs> It's like, oh, wow, I'm getting a chance to eat fruits with seeds and vegetables with real seeds. I'm talking about seeds that you can actually spit out and replant, replant, you know, put back into the earth. And there it goes. It grows all over again. Wow. Sometimes you, 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 you say to yourself, um, you just don't understand how... There's so much waste in um, different countries. And I'm talking about food, and whether it's like from an animal, you know, um, or not. I'm talking about food that people throw away, you know. Um, here, you don't see a lot of throwing away, you know. They even, I noticed even after they have the fruits and everything, I've seen, a take, seen them take fruits and stuff in like different little vehicles and trucks in like these baskets and stuff. I seen them take it to markets, you know, and sell them to markets. So these people be on their grind, some as the people say on their grind, on their hustle or whatever. They be making it happen. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's really uh inspiring to me, you know. 
make me just want to get out there like okay i want to get out here and and i want to grow my own which is going to come to a point where i am going to do this i'm going to get out and i'm going to have you know my own little garden and everything plant and stuff because if you really think about it we have to go back to nature that's the way it originally um supposed to be you know our uh ancestors are you know that passed on transition as you know i would say back way back in the day that's what they did they they formed and grew their own uh uh garden they garden and they farm you know where they had their own uh, at that time where they had whether they had chickens or goats or cows or hogs or whatever you know back then that's what they did you know and they shared food and and they had their own garden and stuff and you know and people was more i would say um caring and, and, and giving like you would have the people, children in the neighborhood. Um, oh, like such beautiful birds. Oh my goodness. But anyway, <laughs> I don't want to mess with the camera because if I move it, I'm going to have it all messed up. So I'm trying to stay focused. But, um, you know, people would share and stuff. And that's what I feel here. Everybody like in, you know, in different like communities of different parts of Africa, um, they seem like they, they they work together. They try to work together. They try to help each other. And I mean, the language is just so beautiful. And I'm still trying to learn um, um, Swahili. And uh, it's, 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 very, it's very beautiful just to hear them speak. And I'm thinking, you know what? One of my ancestors or some of my ancestors that may have migrated or came from this area, um, they once spoke like that. And so now by the people coming from the States, uh, coming from America, we have to learn what was originally already ours. I don't care if you in whatever different parts of the country, you know. Um, <laughs> Some of them saying that English seems to be hard and they want to learn English, but here it is. It's my passion to learn the language over here, you know, and you get two or three words every now and then. And uh, it's, you know, it eventually it all comes together. But anyway, I just wanted to share just some little thoughts, just to check in with you guys and let y'all know that, you know, so far I don't have, you know, no complaint everything is different like right now the area that i'm in it they put me more of like more of like country like you know and from coming from texas um i was raised in the country so you know it just give you that country vibe you know and i think that's so beautiful it's just wow i don't even i don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it. It's just so different. So. But anyway, oh, that's the neighbor dog. And he'll let them know when somebody's coming in, he's going to bark. Yeah, we had dogs and everything. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just different. It's different. It is so different. <laughs> Yeah, that neighbor dog, he was, he was really, really, really acting. <laughs> he was letting them know, hey, this is this is our area over here. I'm going to let the owner know that somebody's moving around. So, yeah, every, every, everybody's playing their part. Every animal, <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing. And so, like right now, um, I was looking, trying to see I can, if I can see the beach. I can see the beach, but it's... It seems like it's not far off. It seems close, but I don't think it's walking distance unless you're really into like walking. Like, you know, some people love to walk. Um, but I can see the beach from here, a portion of the beach. And it's beautiful, you know. So, but I just, like I said, I just wanted to do, do this little short video just to check in with everybody. Hope y'all having a great day. And uh, just let y'all know that this journey that I'm on 
it's just been it's been it's a new journey it's 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 just been a, amazing you know and i'm taking it day by day and i'm trying to learn as much as i can <laughs> and uh you know just learning the culture and eventually i'm gonna get to the point where i'm gonna be able to speak swahili <laughs> to swahili yeah and you know different part of you know the the country different country everybody from from what i was told from one of the local it all revolves around tanzania and you know but everybody have like um i don't want to quote it because i have to hear it again but they have like different languages but it all comes back and it falls back to swahili but uh anyway i'm gonna um get ready to wrap this video up and i uh, hope everyone is having an amazing day and for those that still sleep when you you know wake up in your grand rising and watch this video i hope your day goes accordingly um just hope you just you know be led and guided by the ancestors and i just hope you have an awesome day because i am <laughs> and if it ain't great make it great <laughs> With that being said, family, this is Sandra Know Yourself signing out. One love. <laughs>